Good evening, students, faculty, staff, alumni, family members, and friends. Welcome to our Fall 2020 Celebration of Excellence. I'm Scott Ryan, Dean of the School of Social Work. This is the third time we are holding a virtual Celebration of Excellence this year due to COVID-19. We know this is an unprecedented time for Texas, our country, and the world. However, I'm hopeful, and I know we will recover and be a stronger country. Why do I believe this? Because of each of you that are graduating this semester and being honored this evening. This is why I'm hopeful. You've been taught by the best here at UTA, and many of you are already making a difference in your communities as social work leaders and advocates. Take the knowledge and skills you've learned here and go out and make our state, country, and world a better place. Before the pandemic, the social work career field was projected to grow about 10% annually. Now it's expected this need will only increase. Social workers will be needed more than ever to help families and communities improve our public health system and mental health services. You will be needed to help our aging population and address issues such as substance abuse treatment, health care access, discrimination, racial inequalities, intimate partner violence, and much more. We have more than 11,000 social work alumni making a difference every day, helping older adults, families and children, working in hospitals, nursing facilities, schools, nonprofit organizations, private practice, government agencies, and countless other places. Social workers are on the front lines during this pandemic, particularly medical and public health social workers. We thank all of them for their hard work and selfless service. You have been trained to deal with crises and to advocate for disadvantaged and marginalized populations. You've been taught here to promote social justice, fight against racial injustice, and to develop partnerships for a just society. You are needed because today there are communities, particularly communities of color and people living in poverty, who are the most vulnerable to COVID-19 and other diseases. African American, Latinx, Native American, and LGBTQ communities are being devastated by COVID-19 due to long-term health disparities and social justice inequalities. Decades of inadequate health care, poor environmental regulations, lack of ac access to proper preventative health care, discrimination, people living in food desert communities, and low-paying jobs are some of the leading causes or reasons of the high incidence of COVID-19 patients and deaths in these communities. Social workers know these issues and are working hard to give a voice to the voiceless. This year, we held several virtual events addressing racism, health disparities, LGBTQ and COVID-19 issues. We organized and led a protest supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, advocating for fundamental changes in policing and demanding an end to discrimination, police brutality and racism. I also know you will leave here and be instrumental in developing policies and programs that will help prevent the next pandemic. I know many of you will be on the forefront of addressing lack of food nutrition, environmental problems, health care inequalities, and fighting against discrimination and for social justice causes. I encourage you to continue learning and developing new skills and to adhere to the NASW Code of Ethics, because whatever you do in your life, and your career will reflect what you learned here as a UTA social work graduate. Also, as social workers, we work so diligently helping others, we forget to take care of ourselves. So be sure to continue practicing the principles of self-care that you learned here. For our BSW graduates, we hope to see you soon here on our MSW program. For our MSW and PhD graduates, we look forward to hearing about all the great things you will accomplish. Please stay connected to your alma mater Follow our social media platforms, subscribe to our newsletter, and come back to visit us in two years in our new building. Again, congratulations to our outstanding Fall 2020 graduates and wish you all the best as you embark on your careers. With the help of our communications team, academic affairs staff, and faculty, I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Thank you, and please be safe and kind to one another. Hi, I'm Karen Magruder, Director of Undergraduate Programs and Assistant Professor in Practice at the School of Social Work. Tonight, we will be recognizing some of our standout students that exemplify what it means to be a UTA Maverick Social Work student. Those who have been identified as outstanding in tonight's program have been nominated by faculty, advisors, and field instructors as leaders in the classroom and among their peers. 
These students are not only high achievers, but display a thirst for knowledge, compassion for the community, and a strong commitment to social work values. The BSW curriculum is designed to prepare BSW students to serve the needs of a diverse population while promoting social justice in the public, private, and nonprofit sectors. We currently have over 750 BSW students in our program, and of these, we're only recognizing a few tonight. So join me in celebrating and recognizing the students in our program. I'm so pleased to recognize the BSW Directors List. The following students are being recognized tonight because they are graduating with a Bachelor of Social Work and have an impressive cumulative GPA of a 4.0. So please welcome and congratulate Erica England, Alicia Beckman, Joanna Calderon, Andrew Chard, Greta Gilbreth, Kaylee Hubble, Malia Mikeworth, Gloria Palmatier, Luana Ramirez, Veronica Churubiartes, and Elizabeth Zapata. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Ashley Palmer and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Social Work at UTA. Today it is my privilege to announce that Tawana Miller has received the Outstanding BSW Intended Student Award this fall. Tawana really exemplifies the characteristics of a good social worker in my eyes. She brings curiosity, openness, empathy, and joy to class each and every week. And she's an advocate for social justice and social change. In addition to watching her actively engage with the course materials, I've been really impressed with Tawana's attempts to engage with other classmates. That can be really tough, particularly in an online setting, but I love that it is fostering a community building and connection that may, may not otherwise be present. I think that's really important for social workers in general and certainly for the success of students, particularly right now during this COVID-19 pandemic. I'm really excited to see what Tawana is going to do as she moves forward in this BSW program and into the social work field. And I'm so proud of the social worker that she's becoming. Congratulations, Tawana. Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine Lebrenz. I'm an assistant professor here at the School of Social Work at the University of Texas at Arlington. Tonight, I'll be presenting the award for the outstanding BSW intended student. The student that I nominated is Pauline Zayas. Pauline has been in my Theories of Human Behavior course this semester. Not only has she excelled with the topics and the assignments and the material, she's also demonstrated leadership skills in pursuing topics of interest, participating in class discussions, and also collaboration and helping out her fellow students, a lot of whom are adapting to their first semester here at the university. Pauline has demonstrated throughout the semester a lot of the qualities that we see, that we hope to see and we want to see in social work practitioners. And I have full confidence that as she continues her degree, she will be an asset not just to this university, but a profession. Congratulations, Pauline. Hi, I'm Karen Magruder, Director of Undergraduate Programs, and I am presenting this next award on behalf of nominator Chantelle Adams. The winner of the Outstanding BSW Major Award is Debbie Gomez. Chantelle Adams said, the student has gone above and beyond when it comes to community outreach. Her approach to placement has been very positive and inspiring. Debbie does not wait for instruction. She comes up with creative ideas on her own and will implement her plan. She communicates well, and I appreciate her positivity during field supervision. Congratulations, Debbie. Hi, I'm Dr. Deanne Roper, and I'm professor of practice at the UTA School of Social Work. I'm presenting the award for Outstanding BSW Major Student. The award goes to Allison Miles. Congratulations, Allie. 
Allie has been a consistent and helpful presence in the online classroom. As an undergraduate student leader volunteer, she helps to facilitate communications with students who need extra assistance in navigating technology and answering other kinds of questions like deadlines for field placements. Additionally, students even email her outside of the classroom. She brings extra information to her peers by keeping us informed about the Behavioral Health Executive Committee's decisions on the protections for disabilities and people who are LGBTQ. Outside of her busy school schedule, Allie finds time to even volunteer at the local suicide and crisis line in her community. Allie is truly making a difference at the UTA School of Social Work and in her community. Her peers call her the go-to person. Congratulations, Allie. Hi, I'm Jessica Glenn, LCSW, an adjunct professor at UTA. In this semester, I'm teaching BSW students in field. And this semester, I nominated Early Reed. She's been phenomenal this semester, um, just participates every week during our weekly supervision, asking really insightful questions. Um, and I've seen through her work that she's really committed to social work, committed to the ethics, um, social work ethics, and also committed to excellence and really succeeding in the field. Um, she's working full time and I've been so impressed with how she's been able to balance a full time job in the midst of a pandemic while also doing field work and school. I mean, all of that is so much to manage. Um, and I've also been really, really impressed with her willingness to step up into a few leadership positions this semester to help support her, her classmates. Um, she, I know that it's been out of her comfort zone, but she's done a phenomenal job in the leadership position that she's been in. Um, and I've been so proud of her. So congratulations early. I'm you know, I wish you all the best and I'm so proud of you and all of the hard work you've put in this semester. The second student to win the Outstanding BSW Field Award is Laura Garcia, nominated by Professor Chantel Adams. Professor Adams said that Laura is well organized, creative, and punctual. The student has helped create an Excel spreadsheet that has done a remarkable job in putting all the data collected. It's well organized and she has exceeded my expectation. The student is also bilingual and has taken the lead in translating various materials for the school district out outreach. The student continues to advocate for families and offer support as best she can. Nice job, Laura. Congratulations. The social justice and social welfare minor equips non-social work students with a broad overview of social justice perspectives on issues relevant to the social welfare system. Students gain competency in the core issues of human needs and social development, which is relevant to many careers. This year's outstanding social justice and social welfare student is Hannah Barrow. Hannah was selected for this award for attaining the highest GPA of any graduating social justice, social welfare minor student this semester. Congratulations, Hannah. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Darlene Hunter. I'm an assistant professor in practice in the social work department here at UTA. I'm presenting Outstanding Diversity Student um, and that award goes to Ashley Smith. Ashley is a pleasure to have in the classroom. She's an amazing student and is always bringing new information to each class session. She is prepared and goes beyond um, the information within the class to bring more to the discussion. She will go on to do big things and I can't wait to see what she does and follow her after she graduates at UTA. Congratulations, Ashley. It is well deserved. Good evening. My name is Dr. Schumann, and I am an assistant professor in practice with the School of Social Work. Tonight, I am pleased to introduce Zachary Spurlock. Zachary is a first generation college student from a small town west of Fort Worth. 
He earned an Associate of Arts degree from Weatherford College, where he made the Dean's List, was inducted into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and graduated cum laude. Next month, Zachary will graduate from UTA with his Bachelor of Social Work degree. While pursuing this degree, Zachary has remained on the Dean's List and has been inducted into the UTA Phi Alpha Honor Society. Zachary has been accepted by the School of Social Work and in January, he will begin graduate studies as an MSW student. He plans to pursue a doctorate when he completes his master's degree. As a volunteer, Zachary speaks with inmates at a prison. He speaks at high schools, churches, and 12-step groups throughout Texas and in parts of Louisiana. Through all of this, he has maintained a 3.92 grade point average. It is now my pleasure to present Zachary T. Spurlock as this semester's Substance Use Treatment Minor Student of Excellence. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Aaron Hagdorn, Assistant Dean of Research and Faculty Affairs. It's my honor to announce the winner of the BSW Outstanding Research Assistant, Lady Sarah Joseph. Lady Sarah is a wonderful person at heart who has been extremely helpful to Maxine Davis and her uh, literature review about the role of black churches in the community. And Lady Sarah has done a wonderful job in finding materials, in editing papers, and in helping to submit these articles. Lady Sarah has been so inspired by this research that she's expanding on it and doing her own version of the research as well. Thank you, Lady Sarah, for your many contributions to research. Hi. I'm Dr. Deanne Roper, Professor of Practice at the UTA School of Social Work. I'm presenting the award for Outstanding BSW Undergraduate Research Student. And the award goes to Saruthi Sundar. Congratulations, Saruthi. This last summer, mid-semester, a research methods class unexpectedly was in need of additional help. Saruthi jumped right in and was very professional in her role. See, she suggested ideas to help students be successful, and she was always dependable. After working with these students this summer, she wanted to help more. So she initiated an exploratory project, research project, where she wanted to discover how we can better support our students in the research methods courses. So Ruthie is a smart and effective research assistant, and she is truly making a contribution to the School of Social Work through her activities. Congratulations, Sir Ruthie. I'm so pleased to recognize the Undergraduate Student Leaders, or USLs. The USL program is designed to build community between BSW students and facilitate the exchange of accurate and timely information. The USLs receive training on leadership, communication, and get a lot of information about what's happening at the school's social work and the BSW program, and they serve as mentors, advocates, and communication facilitators for our BSW students, fielding questions about all aspects of the undergraduate experience. Our USLs truly make the school's social work a better place. USLs, I thank you so much for your leadership and dedication to serving your fellow students. The Fall 2020 USLs are Caleb Crago, Georgiana Goff, Sky Hopkins, Christian Mason, Allison Miles, Connor Nickerson, Ide Ortiz, Craig Phillips, Jessica Phillips, Natalie Rea, Ashley Schmidt, Katina Shuey, Eric Simmons, Sruthi Sundar, Anna Tullo, Bree Virasamy, and Suri Zuniga. Congratulations and thank you all. The outstanding students we're recognizing tonight are standouts in every sense of the word. We currently have 1,400 MSW students in our program and of these, we're recognizing only a handful of our best and brightest. 
The MSW curriculum consists of a 61 credit hour program for traditional students or a 38 credit hour program for students who enter with a bachelor's degree in social work. The curriculum is designed to prepare MSW students to be highly skilled practitioners, innovative researchers, and advocates for social justice. The first students we're recognizing tonight are our graduating Master of Social Work students who have earned a cumulative grade point average of a 4.0. Ermi Heyman, Tamaya Bailey, Lorena Banda, Equa Bruce Smith, Angela Carlson, Ana Cartagena, Rosemarie Cosme, Caitlin Fisher, Ariel Gully, Jennifer Hollingsworth, Rachel Mathay, Ileana Ojeda, Rita Renee Orr, Tamara Pintilli, Tracy Purnell, Morgan Richardson, Maria Rubio Scott, Dakota Villanueva, Regina Smith, Marissa Swanson, Cynthia Valencia, Haley Voth, Zoe Waddell, Celeste Wilson Davis, Karen Zamaripa, Kavisha Bailey, Susan Barden, Emily Costello, Michaela Donaldson, Kelly Lynn Dropkin, Alexis Effendi, Janet Fisher, Karen Gleisner, Allison Johnson, Whitney Kyle, Lauren Maldonado, Catherine Neal, Amanda Perez, Paige Phillips, Alyssa Ray, Ashley Rason, Alexandra Stokes, Rachel Torres, Malian Vasquez, Sylvia Vidal, Margaret Mercer, Jara Boyce, Angelica Cruz, Amy Drysdale, Megan Hofferman, Lisa Jones, Michelle Pulaski, Brooks Mill, Amanda Steed, Whitney Allen, Sarah Creighton, Caitlin Espinosa, Brianne Gailey, Lourdes Gonzalez, Clarissa Hurtado, Jocelyn Rodriguez, Yana Tarankov, Mara Wink, Joseph Harweth, Jessica Leach, and Amber O'Dell. For our outstanding MSW Foundation student, we have two students being recognized by uh, our adjunct professor, Marilyn Jakubowski. The first person being recognized is Yasmin Alzubi. And Marilyn writes, Yasmin is a pleasure to have in class. Her work is excellent and she is very insightful. She actively participates in each class and always gives good insights. The second foundation student that Marilyn um, is honoring is Rachel Vaughn. And Marilyn writes, Rachel is the most outspoken student in the course. She knows the material well and is always willing to speak up in class and offer powerful insights. I expect we will hear great things about her. One of our students being recognized today as an outstanding MSW advanced student specializing in children and families is Brianna Kinney. Brianna was nominated by our adjunct professor Chantel Adams. And Chantel writes, Brianna has done great work and is in the community providing outreach on a continuous basis. She is outgoing and communicates well. She does not hesitate to reach out to families that I assign her, which I love this about her. She does not hesitate and seeks out those learning opportunities. She is great to have in class. 
Hello, I'm Saldana Childress, Assistant Professor of Social Work. It is with great pleasure that I nominate Chloe Wise for the Outstanding MSW Advanced Student in Children and Families Award. Chloe has demonstrated exceptional dedication in completing research tasks with depth and insight. This semester she has worked on two projects. In the first project on the impact of COVID-19 on families with young children, she quickly mastered qualitative data analysis software and carried out a textual analysis of respondent interviews. In the second project on interprofessional education and screening, risk assessment and safety planning for intimate partner violence among nurses and social work students, she conducted a literature review of interprofessional education experiences between social work and nursing students, which is a part of the School of Social Work's ongoing development of domestic violence simulation for interprofessional education with the nursing program under a grant on enhancing and assessing teamwork by the Center for Research on Teaching and Learning Excellence. Thank you for your contribution, Chloe, and we wish you great success as you move forward with your professional journey. Hi, my name is Dr. Noelle Fields, and I'm an associate professor here at the School of Social Work. It is my great honor and privilege to recognize the MSW uh, Advanced Standing Student in Aging Specialty, Mary Stringfellow. Mary is a wonderful student um, in our online cohort. She is very engaged in the discussion boards. She often reached out to me for um, wonderful and insightful questions about gerontology and gerontological social work. Um, and she also took the time to create a separate Teams channel for the MSW specialty students in aging to better connect and network with each other as they um, work toward a career in gerontological social work. Congratulations, Mary. My name is Sophia Fantas and I'm an assistant professor here in the School of Social Work. I am thrilled to be presenting Lisa Noop with the award for Outstanding MSW Advanced Student in Mental Health and substance abuse. I've had the pleasure of having Lisa as an MSW intern since March, and in the time that I've known her, she has shown an impressive aptitude for critical thinking and the development of creative and innovative ideas. She continuously shows an openness and willingness to learn, to engage in thoughtful discussions, to ask meaningful and relevant questions, and to actively seek answers. Her own self-reflexivity regarding difficult and perhaps unfamiliar topics is always apparent during our conversations, demonstrating a seamless ability to merge her own personal values with our professional code of ethics. Her passion for exploration, her dedication to her work, and her commitment to social work research and knowledge is demonstrated by her desire to further her learning and remain committed to social justice initiatives and actions. Her growth as a social worker since March has been remarkable. Please join me in congratulating Lisa on this achievement. Our outstanding MSW advanced student in the community and administrative practice concentration is Jose Yerena. Jose is a conscientious leader who, in both his role as a graduate student leader intern and as a director in our field, has impressed me with his thoughtful reflections, fairness and supervision of employees, and ethical practice related to promoting the health and well being of children. He has also taken initiative in leading the development of a CAP student organization in collaboration with Dr. Genevieve Graf and CAP classmates. Hello, my name is Tracy Orwig and I'm an assistant professor in practice. I'm here to introduce the outstanding MSW advanced student in health, Asun Guerra. Asun engages in respectful dialogue in the classroom and elicits discussions with her peers to consider areas of improvement in the healthcare setting. She also discusses the important role of social work in healthcare settings in order to engage and advocate for patients and their caregivers. She has shared her experience with working on interprofessional teams and the importance of collaborating to improve patient outcomes. Congratulations. 
For outstanding MSW advanced students specializing in health, uh, our adjunct professor Chantal Adams nominated Olivia Hobbs and writes, Olivia is very on top of her work in my class. She works well independently and is a very hard worker. Olivia has provided outreach in the community and because of her outreach, she will be a major part of collaborating for this particular school. She has repre represented herself in UTA School of Social Work COVID-19 initiative in a remarkable and respectful manner. I enjoy having her in class. She brings a positive vibe to the class and it is a delight to have her. Hello and welcome. My name is Diana Jones and I am an adjunct professor at UTA. In addition to, I serve as a field instructor at Positive Pursuits, a internship placement and employment agency. It is my extreme pleasure to nominate an outstanding foundation field student. I had the opportunity to meet Ricky Johnson, the, the recipient of this nomination. Um, at the beginning of this semester. In a time, in an unprecedented time, Ricky came in with boots on the ground, ready to go and, and ready to really make an impact and a difference during this unprecedented time. Ricky was an exceptional student and self-starter coming in, um, but she actively participated in her field experience and she brought her skills and was able to integrate her skills into what she was doing. Experiences such as leadership, data analysis, training, evaluation and other skills. She has been instrumental in helping her field agency to develop programs, roles, tasks, and evaluation projects that has been proven invaluable to the organization. I have every confidence that she's going to be an exceptional social work professional and or social worker in the near future as she completes her degree. Much continued success. Um, this was a well-deserved award and I, it is my privilege to nominate Ricky Johnson as an outstanding foundation field student. Thank you, Ricky, for your service. Thank you for your intellect. Thank you for your leadership. Have a wonderful career and much continued success. This student has something unique. It's an intrinsic motivation and passion to help people, whether that's with her clients, her classmates, or her instructor. She provides a helping hand. She makes the most of every opportunity given to her. And in the past 30 years of working with field students, I've never seen a better learning contract. She contributes thoughtful comments and has been a valuable member of her team in her field placement. It's been said that she never shies away from a special project and she meets every request with a smile and enthusiasm. She has helped with pioneering a new service in the online environment in her placement all while producing excellent research for Dr. Mitchkey and making valuable contributions as a graduate student leader for the last three semesters. It is my honor and with much pleasure that I present the award for outstanding MSW student to Emily Costello. One of our MSW outstanding advanced field students is Lourdes Gonzalez. Lourdes is an intern with a project exploring the experiences of women who are pregnant or birthing during COVID-19. Though not a typical internship placement, Lourdes has been open to the experience and range of tasks, identifying how these translate to her practice as a professional. Her empathy, reflection, and insight are key in ensuring these moms are comfortable and safe. Insight especially has been important given that some of these moms are in need of more care than they are receiving, allowing Lourdes an opportunity to raise their mental health awareness and refer them to appropriate resources in their communities. My name is Dr. Diane Mitchke and I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs in the School of Social Work. Tonight, I am pleased to present the award for Outstanding MSWGRA or Graduate Research Assistant to Erin Laney. 
Erin has a great attitude about research. She's eager to learn new skills and has been key to the successful launching of several research projects looking at the impact of COVID-19 on refugees in the Dallas community. I am so glad that she's a part of my research team. Congratulations, Erin. The Graduate Student Leadership Program is designed to enhance student success and build a sense of belonging among MSW students. GSL serve as advocates, mentors, and communication liaisons between MSW students and the School of Social Work. Graduate student leaders were selected to participate based on their commitment to the School of Social Work and their willingness to serve as an example for other students in the program. In the Graduate Student Leader Program, we have two interns, Darlene Bustos and Jose Irena. Our Graduate Student Leaders are Jennifer Canning, Emily Costello, Danielle Fork, Ana Garcia, Faith Geiger, Shalitha Jones, Vidya Krishnan, Anne Kuo, Carolyn Mask Oates, Christina McKinnon, Bethany Mears, Robin Otto, Christy Parks, Mara Wink, and Shane Whistler. A select group of MSW students choose to complete a graduate thesis as part of their degree plan. These students spend a minimum of two semesters working with faculty to design a research study and see the project through to completion. Completing a thesis requires self-discipline and tenacity, and these students are often self-starters and high achievers. They must write a lengthy paper and then defend it orally to a committee of three faculty. Jessica Leach is our graduating student this semester with a thesis. Her faculty advisors are Dr. Rick Hofer and Dr. Genevieve Graff, and her thesis title is Philanthropic Response to the 2008 Financial Crisis versus the 2020 COVID-19 Pandemic. Hello, I'm Antoine Williams. I'm the manager of communications and community outreach. I'm also an adjunct professor and I also serve as the military veterans liaison to the UTA's advisory council for military and veterans services. I'm also a retired lieutenant colonel. I've served over 25 years in the military, primarily as public affairs and public relations officer. Today, I have the honor of presenting awards for outstanding MSW military veteran student and outstanding BSW military veteran student. Just like serving in our armed forces, social work is also a calling. And we're seeing an increasing amount of, of veterans and military veterans picking up that call again and coming into the field of social work, wanting to continue to serve, helping others, including veterans, and also serving in their communities. More than 10% of our social work st students here in the School of Social Work are military veteran students or immediate family members of military veteran students. So on behalf of Dean Ryan, Dr. Deborah Woody, the Senior Associate Dean, Dr. Diane Miskey, uh, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, Cameron Gruder, the Director of Undergraduate Programs, Dr. Regina Pretoris, Director of Graduate Programs, and James Coombe, the Executive Director of Military and Veterans Services here at UTA, I'm proud and honored and grateful to be able to present the awards for outstanding military veteran students here in the School of Social Work. So first up, for our BSW, for the outstanding BSW military veteran student, we actually have two this semester. The first BSW student receiving this honor was nominated by Dr. Aaron Hegedorn, Assistant Dean for Research. Uh, the BSW student is Michael Gibson. Uh, Michael served in the U.S. Army for four years and he mentors young men in the community. Michael's very active in his class with details from the readings and positive support for everyone in the class. He also has that helping spirit and goes above and beyond in the community and in the classroom is what uh, Dr. Hegerdorn submitted for Michael Gibson. So congratulations, Michael. Our second BSW military veteran, stu veteran student is being honored this semester, was nominated by adjunct professor Deanna Jones. And that student is Margarita Lopez. 
Marguerite Lopez, or Maggie, has embraced the social work practice and demonstrated a mastery in engagement, assessment, and service planning with participants and clients. Uh, Maggie secured a housing case manager position with the agency where she actually did her field internship. So congratulations to Maggie, and that's on behalf of uh, the adjunct professor, Deanna Jones. Next, we have the outstanding MSW military veteran students. We actually have a special couple being honored this semester, and they were nominated by Professor Kiva Harper. So here's the video from Professor Harper announcing this special couple. Hello, my name is Kiva Harper and I'm an assistant professor in practice in the School of Social Work. I am here to present the award for outstanding MSW student veterans. I have nominated Larry and Albright Wilbert for this award. Larry and Albright are both veterans who served in the Army during Operation Enduring Freedom and they are currently working on their MSWs together. Um, they are the proud parents of Larry Jr. and just recently in the last couple of weeks, um, little Ava was born. Um, Larry would like to work with disadvantaged youth and Albright would like to work with veterans. Um, they are outstanding students and both determined to finish this program with high GPAs and go on to continue their work of helping others in the field of social work. Congratulations on the award and thank you for your service. Finally, we have a special mention for a military veteran student who's graduating the semester. This student was recognized in spring 2020 previously as an outstanding MSW veteran student. But because of the so much service that she's given to the campus and the community, both here in the School of Social Work and in UTA and the things she's done to help with the Military Veterans Center, we wanted to give a spe special recognition to this particular student who's actually graduating this semester. This student was also nominated by James Coombe, who is the Executive Director of UTA Military and Veteran Services. And that student is Lindsay Stanley. Lindsay Stanley is a veteran of the US Navy. Lindsay continues to serve her country, her school, and her community through active involvement in a number of veteran service organizations uh, here on campus. She's participated in fundraisers and community service projects throughout the Dallas Fort Worth area, both for military veterans and their families and others in the community. Uh, having connected with several service organiz organizations such, such as 22 Kill and Heroes on the Water, Lindsay has proven to be a strong advocate and supporter and role model for student veterans, military veterans in the community, and honoring her service as, uh, from the Navy. During her time as an undergraduate student at UTA, Lindsay was the president of the MAVVETS Student Veterans of America chapter. Uh, she worked closely with the Military uh, Veterans Service Executive Director in marketing and promoting the wonderful services that we have there, uh, there at the Center for with uh, Military Veteran Students. She was actually instrumental in solidifying sponsorships from the Wounded Warrior Project, Missions Continues, and Home Depot as part of supporting the renovation of the UTA Military and Veterans Center. And if you hadn't had an opportunity to see it, I hope you can soon when we're able to back, come back on campus, but it's uh, really did, they really did a great job in renovating the center. She also was supportive in solidifying support for the Central Library Veteran Lounge uh, for our military veteran students. As Lindsay, Lindsay completes her MSW degree, we know she will do great things, and so we congratulate her and thank her for her service both to our country, but also her service here at UTA with military veteran students. We wish all of our military veteran students who are, were honored today the best, and we thank all of our military veteran service students for their service, particularly our outstanding social work military veteran students who we know are gonna go out and do great things helping in the community, working with veterans and their families as well. And a special thank you to all the military social workers who are supporting our service members and their families around the world and in the VA system throughout our country. So again, thank you. Again, congratulations to all of our awardees tonight and take care. Bye. I'm Aaron Hagedorn, Assistant Dean of Research. It's my honor to announce the winner of the Outstanding Student Activist Award, Lady Sarah Joseph. Lady Sarah spent many years working as a 911 operator and understands how the community works and knows the need to advocate for people who cannot stand up for themselves. Lady Sarah has been active in the Social Work Council as the historian. She's on campus very often helping students that need support and 
anyone whose voice is not heard, who needs help, Lady Sarah is always there to, to offer her support. Thank you, Lady Sarah, for all your work as an activist. Hi, it's me again, Patrice Green, the coordinator for the Office of Advising and Student Success. Tonight, I'm here to recognize the students who received scholarships from the School of Social Work during the fall 2020 semester. For the Judith Birmingham Scholarship Endowment, our recipients are Iris Contreras and Jennifer Canning. The recipients for the Mexican American Studies Diversity Study Scholarships are Caitlin Mooneyham and Marissa Durante. The recipients for the Larla B. Hagen Scholarship are Sherry Fawcett and Michelle Tuggle. The recipient for the Glenn Rollins Graduate Scholarship is Susie Esquivel. The recipients for the Dulac, Roy Dulac Endowed Scholarship are Shamil Kadami and Nathaniel Robertson. The recipients for the Colleen Shannon Endowment are Denise Zaninga and Chioma Chinwoku. The Souffle Endowment recipient is Melissa Gutierrez. The Carolyn Santos Carolyn and Santos Hernandez Endowment Scholarship recipients are Cynthia Barboza and Jennifer Smith. The recipients for the Jeanette Coburn MSW Endowment Fund are Danielle Holdridge and Lourdes Gonzalez. The Honored Faculty Endowment Scholarship Fund recipients are Miguel Cruz, Luz Nambo, and Jocelyn Rodriguez. The recipients for the Nazneen Mayadas Graduate Fellowship are Ashika Ravel and Bertha Vilgas. And then we have the recipients for the Peter Gough Endowment. They are Karis Merrifield and Rochelle Morris. And lastly, the recipients for the African American Diversity Studies Scholarship are Suri Zaninga and Leslie Alvarado. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Patrice Green, the coordinator for the Office of Advising and Student Success. The School of Social Work has seven student organizations that have been active in hosting virtual and in-person events, engaging in community service, and educating the social work student community about issues relevant to social work practice. Tonight, we'll be recognizing the leaders of these organizations who have spent countless hours planning activities, recruiting new members, and developing partnerships with local organizations. Hi, my name is Dr. Jandell Crutchfield, and I'm currently an assistant professor here at the UTA School of Social Work. And I also have the distinct honor of being the faculty advisor for the African American Social Worker Student Alliance. And so we are a new organization that um, started up about two years ago. Um, and so we had a great group of uh, first officers and members, but we've been growing our organization. And I could not be more pleased with the work that our new officers have done to grow our organization. Um, and so we meet once a month um, on about the third Fridays at 5 p.m. and we're meeting in Microsoft Teams. Um, and so please reach out. Um, to me, if you're interested in joining the Teams channel as well, or one of our officers, um, our president is Nicholas Woods, our vice president is Liza Wicker, the secretary is Faith Iheke, treasurer Justin Shelby, and our outreach coordinator is Chanel Thompson. And so all of these officers have stepped up um, to lead and to make sure even during this pandemic that our members are connected, are engaged um, in service. And so I am thrilled to see all of the work that they will be doing uh, in the upcoming year. And I hope you all stay tuned as well. Congratulations, officers, and thanks for your service. Hello, everyone. My name is Kathy Lee. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Social Work. This year, I'm playing my role as a faculty advisor for the gerontology organization. I'm so honored to introduce awesome students who are leading the gerontology organization. First, Tiana Pinaki is the president for the organization. She's working very hard with other officers for the development of the organization. 
Susanna Overa is our vice president. She's committed to working for older adults in our community, and her role in the organization is very important. Lastly, Jessica Phillips is the secretary and treasurer for the organization. She has been doing great job supporting the gerontology organization. They are leaders in the field of gerontological social work, and I'm very happy to get to work with them this year. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Tracy Orwig, and I'm an assistant professor in practice, and I'm also a faculty advisor for the Health with Heart student organization. I'm here to congratulate our officers, President Madison, Vice President Joy, Treasurer Shamelia, and Secretary Diana. Congratulations, ladies. Good evening. My name is Kiana Crane, and I am an advisor for the Phi Alpha Honor Society. And my co-advisor is Mrs. Valerie Adame. Today, we would like to take a moment just to recognize our wonderful officers for the Phi Alpha Honor Society. We are so appreciative to have them and we're grateful for their service to the organization. Today, we would like to recognize our president, Mrs. Joy Waldron, our vice president, Mrs. Cheryl Van Dam, and our secretary, Mrs. Elizabeth Anderson. We'd like to thank you ladies for your service. We'd like to thank you for just stepping up during a challenging time for us all during this COVID-19 pandemic. And you all have just hit the ground running and have been doing exceptional work with the organization. We look forward to seeing what you guys have in store. And we think you guys are doing a great job at keeping your members connected and keeping this organization afloat during such a difficult time for us all. Thank you, ladies. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mark Frazier, and I'm pleased to be one of the advisors for the Social Work Council organization. On behalf of myself and my colleague, Mauricia Davis, who is also an advisor for SWC, we would especially like to take this opportunity to recognize the outstanding members of SWC for their contribution to the university in leadership roles and in service to the School of Social Work and the community. The Social Work Council, or better known as SWC, its goal is to connect UTA social work students, whether it be undergraduate students, graduate students, and or PhD students to their campus. Members of this amazing organization get to represent their school, be active in their field of study, and gain some great experience for their futures as social workers. The only qualification that is required to be a part of this great organization is the desire to make a difference in the community around you. The SWC team looks forward to working with you. We hope that you join us in making a difference around the community and in our community. I would like to recognize our members, Allison Levy, President, Destiny Aiden, Vice President, Brianna Haley, Secretary, Lady Sarah Joseph, Historian, Isabel Hong, Social Media Chair, Stephanie Rose and Christian Mason, Community Service Chair, Kristen Mason, Recruitment Chair, and Rosalind Omike as the Treasurer. On behalf of myself, and Ms. Davis, we would like to say congratulations and you deserve this great award as being great leaders in the School of Social Work and a part of SWC. Congratulations. Hello, my name is LaShawn Bold, Associate Professor in Practice in the School of Social Work. As the Faculty Advisor for the Spirituality and Social Work Student Organization, I would like to commend our board members for the fall of 2020. Each of these students has been meeting weekly to plan events for the spring semester that will continue to support future social workers as we seek to fully understand the needs of others in our community from a spiritual perspective. 
Thank you to Kimberly Milbauer, President, Pauline Sias, President elect, Cynthia Verkest, Vice President, and Kirsten Branson, Secretary. We appreciate your leadership in the Spirituality and Social Work Student Organization, and we look forward to seeing what you have coming in the spring. Hi everyone, my name is Carla Arenas Itotia. I'm an assistant professor of practice for the School of Social Work. And today I wanted to just to take a moment to acknowledge the leadership for the student organization called Students for Global Change. So a little bit about Students for Global Change is the purpose is to promote international understanding, education, and research for students at UT Arlington. The organization seeks to unite undergraduate and graduate students to engage with international social issues. So now I want to take a moment to acknowledge our leadership um, for this wonderful organization. Um, President Shelby Sullivan and Vice President Karina Velasquez. Thank you so much for the support that you're giving the student organization. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Diane Mitchke, and I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs in the School of Social Work. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate our incredible students and all of your wonderful accomplishments this past semester. It has been a joy and an honor to listen to your professors um, talk about the wonderful things that you've done in your classes, in the community, through your research. And we are so excited to celebrate with you um, as part of your academic journey. For those of you who are graduating this semester, we'll miss you, but we're so proud of you and wish you the very best as you launch your social work careers. Or for those of you who are continuing, continuing with us, um, either following graduation or on to the next semester. We are just thrilled to have you continue along with us as we work with you to grow your understanding of social work and make a difference in our shared communities. Um, congratulations to you on the accomplishments um, that you've had this semester in making it through despite a global pandemic and all of the other obstacles you've overcome. Um, it's been tremendous to watch you thrive and grow and succeed. And we're just, we are just absolutely privileged to be a part of that journey with you. So congratulations. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you have time to celebrate and have a wonderful evening. Good night.